Well, it's hot in Texas. And uh, it's getting really hotter. Now, Texas is a red state. <laughs> I'm listening to NPR, uh, ACA, the BBC London, enemies of the United States of America, literally. Uh, they continue to divide us. But uh, they're getting the point. They, 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 they analyzing the situation. There is a lot of people looking at them, including the United States of America institutions. And what they're doing is a crime against humanity. All of them. And the fight is uh, very simple. Uh, NPR is utilizing the coronavirus to attack uh, and divide the um, how can I say the uh, the techniques utilized by the English to divide us basically English against English if you will and, and it's been interesting how it's play out because they control by the same people so what they do they select a network Fox News to represent one side of uh, of this uh, created alternative reality and then they get NPR and BBC and the rest of them on the other side to create another alternative reality. Neither is real. Uh, for example, they're utilizing this, uh, this technique. Uh, uh, Mr. Sean Hannity and uh, uh, all these talker things, you know, all these people on Fox News, the repeaters, they're getting paid to repeat. And they have been attacking the, uh, the, the uh, effort of the uh, CDC to contain this pandemic thing going on. So, they are saying, now, go and get vaccinated. Go and get vaccinated. So, basically, it is a political issue. It's not a, a biology. It's not science. It's just a political. It's just to keep you off of balance, to keep your mind off balance, to make you a community. So, now, the NPR and the other guy on the other side, they are saying the red states, the red states are higher, have high, higher cases of uh, this uh, thing, you know, I cannot say the correct thing because they will take this thing down, my, my channel down. So, so that is what is happening. They actually ending up conditioning you to be red and to be blue. That is the whole idea. It has nothing to do with uh, the thing they make you sick. No, it has all to do with how you perceive. Yesterday, I was uh, getting a physical, a, uh, a Department of Transportation of the United States of America physical, and I pass it. Uh, and everyone was watching the television. They have the television in either end of the, uh, of the office. It took me five hours, by the way, to get this physical. Five hours. Uh, that is an amazing thing. It used to be, you know, you go to the doctor and get a physical and it's like 10 minutes and you're out of there. Five hours waiting. That is how a slow uh, our infrastructure is getting. How, how, how backwards we are getting. We, we are destroying ourselves. We are no longer efficient at anything. So let me uh, go back to what I was. Uh... Everyone was just glued to that television like idiots. Like, oh no, I'm so fearful. And I just wanted to, to see the reaction of some people. So, of course, you know, I'm a uh, clown. And uh, the closest guys to me was looking at him like... And I asked him, do you believe what they're saying? <laughs> just that. And it's amazing that this man this did not even move. He completely ignored me. That is how into it they are. It's like they've been it's like they've been manipulated, you know. Hey, do this and do that. That is how crazy it is. Uh, another thing that I that, that I found yesterday uh, talking to some people up there, they actually talked to me is they do not know the difference in between a conditioned reflex 
and an unconditioned reflex. There, there, is, there is differences. And the difference is a conditioned reflex, you learn it. It's, it's what you learn. What you learn first is what you learn best. You learn by praise, you learn by association, you learn by so many ways. And to learn, you must want to learn. That is a conditioned human reflex. It's a human natural behavior. Unconditioned reflexes, you cannot control. You cannot control. Um, breathing, your heart rate, sweating, fear, um, sex, sex is an unconditioned reflex. The desire of having sex uh, is not something that you can control. It's, it's, it's unconditional. You're born to have sex, to procreate. That is our main, um, uh, how can I say, purpose on this life. That's it. And it's, a, and it's unconditioned reflex. Uh, a, a unconditioned reflex is uh, uh, when you fall in love, uh, when you um, uh, 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 care about your children, when you, it's, it's a reflex, it's, it's, a, uh, it's something that is built in you to feed your family, to protect your family, to fight for them, to protect them. It's, it, that is something that you born with that or you don't. Uh, and and I, 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 it's amazing how people are so uneducated. They don't even know the difference. They don't even know what a reflex is. Uh, matter of fact, and I found out that, that yesterday. So all these on televisions, all the fighting now, the acceptance of uh, the uh, Fox News to hey, go and get vaccinated, and I think everybody should get vaccinated. By the way, um, it's just it's just science. Now some of you might get hurt by it, but that will be a a a, a, a good pr a pr uh, 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 price to pay uh, as, a, as, a, as a group, as a community. Uh, uh, some people get reactions to all this. Uh, 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 but the science is truth. You know, get vaccinated. Now, I cannot say what to get vaccinated to. I think you get, you know, get vaccinated to polio. You know, that would be a good idea. Uh, but that is what is happening. They're utilizing medicine. They're utilizing what is happening right now. Uh, this change in Fox News um, uh, direction to even including Mr. Trump saying go and get vaccinated that might be a good idea. Now, how it came about? It probably is pressure from from the YouTubers. You know, people looking at this craziness being said. Not only the YouTubers are our enemies are the Chinese, the Russians, the English. The English is the one making the whole thing coming apart. Uh, and what, what I'm saying about enemies, I'm, I, you know, I just say that because this is actually incorrect. It's our competitors, our competitors. These people are no enemies. We have no enemies on this planet. We all humans. It is the simple as that. Uh, and, you know, these English people will never make me enemy of my humans. Uh, because they are my humans. It's, it's, an, it's a natural instinct that I have to protect them. It is an unconditioned reflex. So, so that is you have it. Uh, keep, keep, keep the fight. The fight is going great. Uh, uh, we are uniting this planet. You know, we are uniting this planet. Mr. Jeff Bezos just went airborne. And uh, pretty much all, all these um, leaders in... Uh, in, in, in moving humanity, they are advancing our planet. So don't go out there and criticize them. Uh, criticize them, even if they are a little confused, or maybe a lot, and maybe they are completely conditioned, but at least they are advancing humanity on the right direction. We will get there. Remember, Rome will, was not built in one day. Rome was built from a group of people uh, different size, you know, I mean, the, 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 the different tribes, the Etruscans, the, the, the Savinos, the Latins, and also the Visigoths. It took them 800 years to, to save uh, uh, Europe and to advance the new world. So, so it's a slow process, 
but keep the fight alive. Make sure that you understand that there is no such a thing as a red state or blue state. That is something made up to condition your reflexes. This is the United States of America, an indivisible country, and we are in a geographical place called America, an indivisible continent. And by the way, these names are no English. So when the English call you America and you tell them, hey, why you call me America? That is no English. That is Castilian and Aragone. <laughs> Saludos. And uh, keep eye on Cuba because they coming. Because this is their land and they will defend it. Here, there, everywhere. Um, eventually that eventually that will 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 fix itself the Iberians and the in Spain I already they, they already understand what is happening and they are they are supporting their Iberian brothers brothers and sisters so to the Cubans God bless all of you you create the world and I thank you for that saludos